Hello everyone, and already you probably know that I love the Cromwell B, and now I have aced it, so I think this is time for me to do a full review of this tank, and uh, whether if I think that this tank was worth the go, so you can't get it anymore, but uh, I just want to show you this tank also, just to make sure you are aware that this shit is OP as hell, and you do not want to mess around with this, if you do mess around, I'm pretty sure if the opponent is not a fool, then he can really outplay you. Uh, like hell. Uh, so we're gonna look at the Cromwell B, and this is a. What country is it? Oh my God! I can't believe I can't think. I think it's yeah, British. Yeah, it's British. The the ca the paint on this thing it makes me think that it's American. Uh, so I was trying to figure out which tech tree it was from, but yeah, it's British. Uh, straight away you can see just I don't check out the stats that often on the Cromwell B. The Cromwell B's gun is exactly identical to that of the. Uh, normal Cromwell, except that the appearance of this gun is is slightly odd. It's it's way shorter than the one on the Cromwell because uh, really this is not the top gun on the Cromwell. But uh, in order to make it competitive and also you know same thing as the real Cromwell, the well not the real Cromwell, the the Cromwell in the game already the top Cromwell upgraded. They have to make the gun somewhat similar stance. Um, I don't know what they did this time because they want it to be as competitive as possible and uh, of course as OP as possible. So they gave it the same stance as, as the real top gun on the Cromwell. But really, this gun should be the second gun in the regular Cromwell, except somehow this time uh, the stats they buffed it so much. So you can see that this tank, gun depression wise, absolutely just British standard sort of gun depression and uh, you work ridge lines but you don't want to get hit because your turret armor is not going to save you like it does in the centurion so again this thing is all about the speed just check this out quickly get in there and you just scare the shit out of them kill that guy there and they uh, can't be buzzed for the uh, <laughs> next shot just ram him to death class right and then you just literally just flush them out that that is just simple and I've already done almost 1k damage and this is a tier 6 tank just to tell you that's how insane this is I saw a shot coming in here and yep there it is it's stuck but I'm gonna make fun of him look at this look at this I out turned him he predicted that I was gonna turn way more but nope <laughs> my turning circles are way better than yours and just check out this this is insane you can just so outplay your opponents in your Cromwell B. So let's take a look at the damage per minute on this thing. This thing has a damage per minute of 2076 and that is just ridiculous to be honest. Especially for a tier 6 medium I think there's absolutely no way for you to not love it. I did get hit there and it was quite lucky I survived but I, did, I Again, I don't know, just shit happened in my brain, I was just too excited that, you know, I've done 1k already, and to be honest, 1k damage in this tank is just normal for me, it's so easy to do 1000 damage uh, in your Cromwell B, I didn't like the real Cromwell for some bizarre reason, uh, I, just, I don't know why, but I get some shit luck in my regular Cromwell, so I never kind of play that much, um, if not, I don't even think I... I, I don't think I kept it any longer than I had to, uh, but I, I just think it's just insane this tank, it's just no brainer to get at the time, and you can see that this thing just absolutely wrecks, I've done now 1.7k damage and already uh, I've done, I'm on 5 kills, the accuracy is not the best, but if you let it aim, it's okay, and now it's, we're on 6 kills and there's only just a few of them left alive, and I'm pretty sure we win this no matter what so I don't really care if I get screwed uh, by anything right now I just want to get the last possible damage output and uh, maybe bump it up to 2000 if I'm lucky but oh where is the already oh shit he's behind well, what the fuck somehow I didn't spot him there but you look at the tight turn it does it's, it's a beauty of a tank it's got style That that's what I want to say it's just absolutely Fantastic. I thought there was a shot there, but nah, he, he went forward, so I didn't quite get the shot. And I was like, wait, what the hell? Where is this position? I never camp at the back, so I don't know about this. 
position here, but it seems like uh, there's a good nice hiding spot here I need to know about in the future. Uh, so I killed the, the grill and aced it, 1,900 damage, exactly on the point. And uh, yeah, this is just OP as hell. I enjoy it a bit, and uh, best one of the best tanks in the game for sure. Hopefully that you have enjoyed this, and we shall see you next time.